Who knew 2019 was actually 1984? Making basic biological statements that are 100% true can get you fired. Can't wait for this video to get demonetized as soon as I upload it. Let's read the story then we'll talk about it. Don't forget to drop a like before we go through it guys. This actually helps me a ton and the channel as well. So make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new so you won't miss any of the newest videos on this channel. Obviously, turn on the notification bell because it's the new unofficial subscribe button. A transgender woman facing disciplinary action over a t-shirt stating that she is still biologically a man has been accused of hate speech. Debbie Hayton, a physics teacher in the Midlands, lives as a transgender woman after changing her gender from male to female in 2012. But unlike many people in the trans community, she does not believe her sex can be changed and is vocal about the fact that she will always biologically remain a man. She is now potentially facing expulsion from the LGBT committee of the Trades Union Congress for wearing a top adorned with the slogan, trans women are men. Get over it. If the TUC rules against Miss Aiden, who has sat on the committee for five years, it would mean that even transgender people face being accused of transphobia for saying that they do not believe an individual can alter the sex they were assigned at birth. Miss Satan, 51, who has undergone surgery and hormone treatment, wore the t-shirt to an event organized by campaign group Fair Play for Women in July, and it attracted a complaint in August. According to the Sunday Times, 12 members of the LGBT committee wrote to Frances O'Grady, General Secretary of the TUC, a federation of unions representing 5.5 million working Britons, saying that by wearing the t-shirt, Miss Hayton had gone beyond discourse and the expression of alternative viewpoints, and is now propagating hate speech against the trans community. Now this is a trans woman who have made a factual biological statement. This is not a matter of opinion. This is something that any decent biologist would gladly stand behind and now she is facing expulsion from the LGBT committee of the trade union congress where she had served for 5 years. All for a stupid complaint about a t-shirt that she wore to a pro woman event. 12 members of the committee that she had served reported her to the general secretary of the TUC saying she had gone beyond discourse and expressing alternative points. She is propagating hate speech against the trans community which she is a member of. How is an undisputable concrete scientific fact actually a viewpoint? Not to mention the word alternative, which I don't think they know what it actually means if they use it in this sentence. Where have we went wrong in society where we cuddle such people that they can't handle a basic fact, a biology fact? They should really get over it. Trans women are biologically male, as the t-shirt says. No matter how they present, what their hormone count is, and how many surgeries they went through. You can't change your sex. I legitimately ask you guys, how did we get to this point and situation where even a trans woman can say such a benign, normal statement? What can I say guys? Up is down, left is right, good is bad, welcome to 1984. I'll see you in the next one.